Another feature inside of Easel is the ability to set ramping for your plunge cuts. And to show you how that works, so I've got this really simple example set up, and this is just a single line that is going down a quarter of an inch, and we're using an eighth inch bit. And we're gonna simulate this really quick. And if I hide my material, you can see, because I have the depth of cut set to be that quarter of an inch, so it's going all the way down. So if we simulate this, it's gonna go straight down, across, come straight back up. So this is the plunge cut, and this is your track. And for the plunge cut, it's going down straight, so it's really going down at an angle of 90 degrees in relation to the material. Now, what you can do is actually change that angle that it goes down, because traditionally these style bits aren't really made for drilling, uh, like you would put on just a normal drill and you're gonna drill a hole. These are made for moving side to side. So if you want to increase the life of your bit to keep it sharp, as well as limit the potential of it breaking and even get a stronger cut, then um, you wanna use ramping. So if you come over here to cut settings, you can see down here at the very bottom that we have this menu and you can either set it to vertical, which is what it is right now, or five degrees or 20 degrees. And that's the angle between the material and then the angle that it's actually going down. So if I set this to five and I hit simulate, and then it doesn't look like anything happened, but if I expand this over and hide the material, you can see now we have this five degree angle and it walks back and forth so it can get down to the full depth, but you can see it comes in and that is what changes. And then you can also do the same thing, but we can switch it to 20 degrees. And then if we simulate that, and you can see how that works. And the differences between these two is just the lower the angle, the less stress you're gonna put on the bit. So this five degree, you're gonna be going down, not a ton, so it's gonna be pretty easy on the bit. So this is a really good option, especially if you're doing harder woods um, or even you're doing soft metals like aluminum. And then this 20 degrees is a little more aggressive, um, so it's gonna get down quicker, but it's still gonna give you the benefit of ramping. So if you imagine this without it being cut, um, when this would initially just go straight down, the bits really don't have a good way to clear out of the material. But by ramping, you're creating a bigger groove so the bits have a lot more room to eject uh, and the bit is not getting in the way. So be sure to play around with ramping and you can change around these settings.